Yo, 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 what up? It's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you big boy of the night. Uh, we only got a couple hours to get these in, guys, so obviously my spiel about hitting that bell because things are time sensitive. This is called time sensitivity right now, guys, so all the KBO games are at 1 a.m., and we have a couple NPB games at... 12 and 12.30 and 3 a.m., 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. So, obviously, time sensitive. DraftKings finally has all the games on there for once. I don't know why they didn't yesterday still. And they pissed me off about that, but what are you going to do? So, anyways, guys, hit me up in the comments. Hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell because why? This is time sensitive, just like I got into. So, anyways, without further ado, let's start the fucking video. Alright guys, this is how we're rolling tonight, man. Uh, we want to cash this shit out, man. It's a nice fucking plus 285113. Lucky 13 at the end. Uh, $10, catch you 2861, 2861 dollars. Hopefully this happens. I'd be very happy I can use some money right now. As I'm sure all you guys can too. So let's try to get this and let's try to win. So our first game of night, NC versus Samsung. We got, we're taking NC plus two. I know they're going up against Buchanan, but I don't know. I think NC has been pretty good as of late, man. Next game, Kai Woom going for the sweep on KT. You never see me take this, man. But Kai Woom's hitting the fucking ball. KT's got a bullpen game going on. Kai Woom's got Ariel Girada going. I don't know what else to say, you know? Like, let's go, you know? All right, Dusan Lote. We've been playing this shit the same fucking way for three days, so hopefully it's not wrong. We're going under 10. In that game, Charlie Barnes and Waddell going. Keo minus one. You, I think you're going to hit that. Minus two. Like I've been saying, SSG is like the Warriors, man. They can't. I don't know what's going on with them. Who knows? Maybe they got some big injuries and stuff that I don't know about since I don't speak Korean, you know. And there's not any good fucking websites anymore that update you on injuries and all that roto wires not around anymore they haven't been since the covid years uh so that's that uh hanwa plus three i think they can actually beat lg again tonight they got uh is it moondog yeah moondog versus i can chew i think they could uh beat them but i'm giving them a three run cushion just to be safe uh, then we got Hiroshima minus one at Shinichi. Hopefully that works out good. Hanshin minus one at Yakult. Hanshin's just on fire, man. I went with Yakult last night and they fucking disappointed me. So I'm going back with my team Hanshin, man. I love him. Uh, over five in Fukaka and Saitama. I think Seibu... Yeah, off of Fukaka's pitcher. I think Cebu got him for like five runs, three runs. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but they got him for some runs before. Um, and Cebu's pitcher's giving up some runs. Also, the soft bank. Yokohama minus one at Yomori. Yoka's been hot, man, with the bats, bro. They've been fucking doing it like crazy lately, so... We're sticking with the hot hand to end the week. Orox nip on two good pitchers pitching. Uh, so we're going with under eight. I was going to go with plus two either team. But the under eight was a little bit better of odds. Minus 190. I don't think they'll be scoring too much. I hope not at least. You know, two good pitchers going. Hopefully it works out. Alright, then Radican plus one. I wanted to take a minus one, but I don't know. They have a better pitcher than uh, Chiba going. Chiba been scoring runs. I wanted to take the over, but what is it? Uh, shit. 
No, I forgot, man. I think Radikin's pitcher faced Chiba and did a nine-inning shutout one time. Gave up two runs a different time. And Chiba's pitcher also had a nine-inning shutout, I believe, against them. And then he had one where he gave up three or four. So, yeah, that's that. So we got Radikin plus one. Hopefully that works out. I didn't want to take over-unders on that game because they're hard to read, man. Some games they'll score a lot. Other games they won't score. So that's that. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Uh, hopefully we talk about monies tomorrow. And, yeah, I might post some uh, bets with the uh, updated bets now that fucking DraftKings has all the teams out. But we will see. All right, guys. Have a great night. Good luck. God bless. Kiss up. Peace.